So here's a bad science movie trope that doesn't actually bother me. Sound in space. So you know what I'm talking about. We're all in the audience watching some epic space battle with starships and their engines humming and their lasers pew-pewing and explosions. And we all look at it and go, cool. And then someone says, well, actually, there's no sound in space. And they're absolutely right. Sound is a wave that needs something to travel through, what we call a medium. And for us humans, that medium is normally air, right? You do something like clap your hands and that disturbs the air molecules near your hands. Those air molecules bump into the ones next to them and that creates a wave, so on and so forth, until that wave hits our ear, vibrates our eardrum, and our brain interprets that as sound. But it doesn't have to be air. Any material that can vibrate, and that's all of them, will transmit sound. Like water, for example, transmits sound roughly four times faster than air. Steel is even better with it traveling 15 times faster than it does in air. And that's actually why if you've ever been on a subway or near the train tracks, you can sometimes hear those rails singing uh, before you can hear the train. It's because the sound is traveling faster through the rails than it is through the air. But in the blackness of space, there is no medium for that sound to travel through. Space is a vacuum, so there are no molecules to bump into each other and no way for that sound to be transmitted. So if a person was in a spacesuit observing an alien spaceship exploding at a distance, they would not hear it. That is true. That is good science. But the relevant question is not whether you can hear sound in space. The relevant question is, who are you in this world? Because in the world of the movie, this space battle is actually happening. We've got our good guys, we've got our bad guys, we've got our spaceships, our explosions, and our lasers. But you, as the audience, are not experiencing this firsthand. You are not an active participant in the things that are going on. Characters do not... Uh, interact with you or even perceive your presence. Now, we understand as people who know how movies are made that we are seeing things from the perspective of the camera. But in the movie world, that camera does not exist. So you're essentially just kind of a floating invisible head uh, perceiving things passively, which is why you can be in the room when the bad guys are discussing their top secret battle plans. If that invisible head is flying through through space, you would expect to see the things that it sees, the lasers, the spaceships, the explosion, and hear the things that it hears, which since it's the vacuum of space would be nothing. Except no. Let's get back down to Earth for a second. So here's a scene that you would see in any realistic or grounded drama. You're looking at me through a window and hearing my conversation on the phone. Except if you were that invisible head experiencing everything from that perspective behind the window, this is what you would realistically hear. The only reason you can actually hear me right now is because I'm wearing a microphone. But just like the camera doesn't exist in the world of the movie, neither does the microphone. That means that you are experiencing two different perspectives. Your invisible eyes are inside behind the glass and your invisible ears are on the phone that I'm having the conversation with. We very much readily accept in all movies that we can experience sound and sights from two totally different perspectives. And just like we can have split screens and montages, which are combinations of different visual perspectives, we can also have uh, combinations of different audio perspectives. That's why we can have things like voiceovers and narrations. And, you know, to pick the most extreme example, uh, musical scores. Nobody ever says like, oh, it's unrealistic that you can hear John Williams in space. So yes, sound cannot travel through the vacuum of space, but looking at our scene, there are lots of things here that sound can travel through. There's the metal and glass of the spaceships and the air that's in the cockpit. So if someone 
fires up their engine or shoots their lasers, you're going to hear that hum and that pew pew. And if you are on an enemy spaceship when it blows up, you are definitely going to hear that at least for a second. <laughs> so yes, if your movie had two characters that needed to shout across the vacuum of space and understand each other, that would be stupid and that would bother me. But thankfully, movies are this wonderful art form that allows us to experience things from lots of different perspectives. It allows us to be very creative that way. And one of those things and one of those many perspectives that we can see is things in space that make noise. <laughs> 